This is Darren Cumberbatch in a hospital A&D. Police officers holding down his legs. He'd been restrained, tasered and punched by police. Nine days later, he was dead. McIntyre House Probation Hostel in Nuneaton. Darren Cumberbatch, who was living there, starts behaving oddly, going in and out of his room, running along the corridor and up and down stairs. Staff are concerned and call the police, while Darren's odd behaviour continues. He goes in and out of the toilet. The inquest into his death heard that staff were concerned that he'd been taking drugs or was mentally unwell. He leaves the toilet but then comes back, followed by police who've now arrived. Darren stays inside the toilet. More police arrive. PC Josh Neal told the inquest that inside the toilet, Darren Cumberbatch was holding a metal towel rail and swinging it at another officer, PC Mark Quinn. There are now seven police officers at the toilet. PC Jonathan Walker told the inquest that at no time did any of the officers discuss getting an ambulance for Darren Cumberbatch, even though it was thought he was unwell. And they decide to go in. Inside, Darren is tasered twice, punched, hit with a baton and sprayed with incapacitant spray. PC Josh Neal said he punched Darren Cumberbatch three to four times. PC Stephen Jones said he thought it was ten to fifteen times. Handcuffed in front, Darren is brought out. The inquest was shown this footage as the officers take Darren from the probation hostel. They decide to take him to George Elliott Hospital in Nuneaton in a police van. Body cam footage from the car park of George Elliott Hospital was shown to the court. We all Listen, have. if you stop tensing your arm, it's not going to work. If you carry on tensing, you'll be dead. Relax. Relax and you won't get hurt. Relax, Darren. You got it? You got that arm? Relax, Relax your legs. Handcuffed behind his back. And with leg and ankle restraints, Darren is taken into A&D. An expert witness, Dr. Johan Grundling, said Darren Cumberbatch was critically ill when he arrived. His heart rate was 160 beats per minute and his temperature was above 40 degrees. This is Darren inside the hospital. Officers are holding his legs. His breathing is increased. Darren had been handcuffed on his front and lain on his front in the hospital car park. Inside the hospital, he was then handcuffed behind his back and lying on his back. Fiona Murphy on the left, counsel for Darren Cumberbatch's family, asked Dr. Grundling about how a person's breathing might be affected if they were laying on their front and their back. He said it was important that a person wasn't laying prone face down and that it wasn't ideal if people were handcuffed and laying on their back. Darren Cumberbatch told medical staff he'd taken half a gram of cocaine, cannabis and alcohol. The inquest heard that the cocaine could have triggered acute behavioural disorder in Darren. Restraining or tasering people with acute behavioural disorder can prove fatal, the inquest was told. It can trigger high heart rate, high temperature and increasing rate of breathing. At George Elliott's hospital, it was 27 minutes before Darren was given a sedative. Medical expert Johan Grundling said ideally this should have been quicker. And he also said Darren should have been admitted to intensive care sooner. But the fact that he wasn't, wasn't unreasonable, because nothing in his care would have changed. Nine days after Darren was restrained and taken to hospital, he died of multi-organ failure.